Hello and welcome to our video on the scientific consensus on climate change. Climate change is one of the most pressing issues of our time and has been the subject of much debate and discussion. Today, we're going to take a look at the overwhelming evidence that the Earth's climate is warming, and the reasons why scientists are so certain that this is happening. We will take a look at the scientific evidence for climate change, and examine the level of agreement among scientists on the issue. The first thing to understand about the scientific consensus on climate change is that it is based on a large body of evidence. This evidence includes observational data from a variety of sources, including temperature records, sea level rise, and changes in precipitation patterns. This data is collected and analyzed by scientists around the world and is used to build a comprehensive picture of the state of the Earth's climate. So, what is the evidence that the Earth's climate is warming? One of the most obvious indicators is the rising temperature of the planet. According to NASA, the average global temperature has risen by about 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit, 1 degree Celsius, since the late 1800s. This may not sound like a lot, but it's important to remember that even a small change in temperature can have a big impact on our planet. One of the most important sources of observational data on climate change is satellite measurements. These measurements show that the Earth's surface temperature has been rising over the last century, and that this warming is happening at a faster rate than at any other time in the last 1,000 years. This warming is also causing sea levels to rise, and is resulting in more frequent and severe heat waves, droughts, and storms. Another important source of evidence for climate change is the study of ice cores. Ice cores are long cylinders of ice that have been drilled out of glaciers and ice sheets. They contain a record of the Earth's climate going back hundreds of thousands of years, and they show that the Earth's climate has been relatively stable over this time. However, in the last century, the Earth's climate has begun to change at a much faster rate than at any other time in the last 1,000 years. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for climate change is the increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, trap heat in the atmosphere and cause the Earth's temperature to rise. The levels of these gases have been rising steadily for the past century, and scientists have been able to track this increase with precision. So, what is causing this increase in greenhouse gases? The overwhelming evidence points to human activities, such as the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. When we burn coal, oil, and gas, we release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Deforestation also contributes to the problem by removing trees that absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. But it's not just the increase in greenhouse gases that is causing the Earth's climate to warm. There are also other factors at play, such as changes in the Earth's orbit and solar radiation. However, the overwhelming evidence shows that these factors alone cannot account for the warming of the planet. The only explanation that fits all of the data is that human activities are the primary cause of climate change. Additionally, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, is a body of scientists from around the world who come together every few years to assess the state of the science on climate change. They have released five reports so far, and each one has found that climate change is happening, and that human activities are the primary cause. Another important point to consider is that the consensus on climate change is not just limited to a specific group of scientists or a single study. The agreement among scientists about the reality of climate change and its human causes has been consistently reflected in numerous scientific assessments and studies over the last few decades. So, what does this mean for the future? Unfortunately, the warming of the planet is going to have a major impact on our world. We can expect to see more extreme weather events, such as heat waves, droughts, and storms. We will also see sea levels rise, which will cause flooding and erosion of coastlines. And as the Earth gets warmer, we will also see changes in ecosystems and the extinction of many species. But it's not all bad news. We can still take action to slow down the warming of the planet. We can reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by using renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power. We can also reduce our consumption of meat and dairy products, which are responsible for a large portion of our greenhouse gas emissions. And we can also protect and restore our forests and other natural habitats, which help to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. In conclusion, the scientific consensus on climate change is clear and overwhelming. The Earth's climate is warming and human activities are the primary cause of this warming. We have overwhelming evidence to support this consensus, and the implications of this warming are serious. It is important to understand the science behind climate change and to take action to address this pressing issue but we still have the power to take action and slow down the warming of the planet. We hope you've learned something new today.
Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.